delicious Singapore hawker foods at Chinatown Complex Food Center. Welcome to another ultimate food adventure with Getting Lost. This time, we are doing another ultimate food guide, ultimate delicious hawker food, street food that you can find at Chinatown Complex Food Center, which is on the second floor. And here, you can get lots of delicious food, so much delicious food that we are doing now part three of our ultimate food guide of this food center. And to find out what food appears in this ultimate food guide, you will have to wait until after the intro, which is happening now. And we are back. Well, where are we now? We are actually at Chinatown Complex Food Center, which is along Smith Street and right smack in the middle of the busy, touristy, full of things to do Chinatown in Singapore. I know Singapore has a majority of Chinese residents, but this place here, we still have a Chinatown. Well, there's a lot of history of why there is one. Anyway, one of the biggest places where you can get the most hawker food stalls is at this place here, which is Chinatown Complex Food Center. And we're going to go in here and we're going to explore and I'm going to show you. Well, this is actually part three. I already showed you previously. I'm going to show you more food that you can find here at this food center. So join me for this ultimate food adventure. And if you are walking around this food center, you will most probably pass by this store without noticing it. And this store is called Jinji Teochew Place Tucker and Ketchup. And here they sell items that are popular in Singapore, but you can rarely find it outside of Singapore. And this shop here does these items very well. And another thing that I like is they actually repackage the item to make it more common, more familiar to people who haven't tried this food before. So what I order from here is their bento jumbo set which cost me $8 and you get a bit of everything from this store. So here at the side here you see they actually have some braised duck. The braised duck here they did it very well. The meat here is seasoned nicely and there's barely any uh, gamey ducky smell to it. Then when you eat it together with their sour chili sauce it complements it very well together. Then over here you have their kuei chap or their offal pieces which is braised in a very delicious very flavorful braising sauce. Here, this is where they shine, where they do it very well. I really like the ketchup. The intestines is nice, soft and tender. Their pork belly, still firm but still juicy. Then on top here, you have their yam rice, which they have actually rolled it into balls, which makes it look more appealing. But taste-wise, it's nothing really special. Then you have the soup. The soup here is a really nice, delicious, flavorful herbal soup. Very done very well, full of spices and very flavorful and complements the dish very well. Then you have the chili sauce at the side here, which is mainly sour than spicy, but helps to complement the ingredients here, helps to cut through some of the stronger taste in the dish and goes very well together with all the ingredients here. And how you normally, normally for this dish, what happens is when you order the dish, you either order braised duck or kuei chap separately. You don't normally get it together. Here, in this jumbo set, you have both items and both they do it well and very delicious and very nice. And if you come here, want to try something different, something that you haven't tried before outside of Singapore, this is something for more for people who are more adventurous and want to try something new, something different, something very flavorful. This is the dish for you to try. And if you do come here, I would say give it a try. And also what you can do is you can actually mix up all the different ingredients together. Very delicious, very yummy and something that if you're not tried before, something to for you to do, for you to try. Another very popular store which you can just walk past without notice is this stop, this shop called Mr. Fish. And here they sell a few items, uh, 
relating to fish, but mainly they sell fish soup. And here, when you walk past the store, you don't see a queue because the queue are actually the people sitting around here waiting for them to serve the soup. And here is the soup. And if you notice, the soup here is a bit... The colour of the soup looks like they actually add milk to the soup, but there's no milk added to this soup here. But still, there's a nice colour to it. So, first thing is, when you get the soup, you will be hit by this fragrance of the soup. The soup here smells fantastic and it tastes as good as it smells. The soup here, with the only word I can describe it is heavenly. It's a very delicious, very flavorful, full flavored fish soup with nice fresh slices of fish at the bottom with some vegetables here. And here you can tell this savory fish soup was cooked for a very long time until all the fish bones gave up all the flavor and departed into the soup. And here a really nice delicious umami flavor comes from the soup. And if you do come here, you will like fish soup. This place does the fish soup extremely well. And if you want to get, and if you're looking for exceptionally delicious fish soup, this place will never disappoint you. Next up, we're going to have some dessert from this store called Old Amoy Chendol. And this stop here, normally during early lunch time, there's no queue because people will come here for their dessert after their meal. So the middle of lunch to the end of lunch time, there is actually quite a queue for this chendol. And the reason is because it only costs you $2 for the chendol, which is very, very cheap. And here it is, the $2 chendol. So you have all different ingredients. The only issue I have is for $2, the bowl is a bit small, but it is a very good dessert. The ingredients, uh, the green green thing on top, the azuki beans or the red bean at the side, then you have ice, then you have the coconut milk, and then all the different items here, all by itself taste normal. The azuki beans is a bit savory, but somehow when you mix it together, held together by the, the gula malaka, which is the palm sugar. Somehow, when you combine it all together, you eat it together, the flavours adds to each other and adds unto something better than all the ingredients separately and harmoniously bring you a very nice, very refreshing, very delicious, sweet, savoury, coconutty, delicious dessert that cools you down in the hot tropical weather in Singapore. So this place here, after your meal, after you tried your lunch, do come down here for some dessert. Next up, we are at this place here called New Market Seafood Soup. And here, during lunch time, there's always a queue for their soup. So here, basically what they do is they sell soup again. This place here sells seafood soup or fish soup. And very popular store. So if you do come here, you may have to actually line up and wait in queue for the soup. And this is what basically you get. You can order the soup, eat it together with rice. And here, the ingredients here are fresh. They use lots of vegetables. The soup here is nice, very flavorful seafood soup. And if you just order their sliced fish soup, which is this one here, or you which call this the minced meat sliced fish soup, you also get lots of minced meat balls here. And here the soup is savory with a slight tang in the end here. And the soup here is really really good. But the name of the shop here is actually called New Market Seafood Soup. So if you come here to eat their fish soup, you should actually come here, you shouldn't just come here just to eat the fish soup, you should come here to eat their seafood soup, which is what I tried next. And so this is their seafood soup. The difference is, in their seafood soup, you do not have as much minced meat as you have in the previous soup. But what you get instead is you get prawn, 
you will get some clams in there and then together with some fish slice and a bit of minced meat and here first of all like i said they have fresh seafood ingredients soup delicious flavorful delicious seafood soup and all this just for four dollars so this place is popular not only because it tastes good but and also it has a very affordable price so if you do come here you want to try fish soup this fish soup here is not as flavorful not as delicious as mr fish earlier but they still make a very good seafood soup more closer representation of the seafood soup that you normally get in singapore but still a very good very delicious very flavorful very healthy seafood soup if you want to try this is also another good place to try fish soup and the reason for that is because as you can see here lots and lots of ingredients flavorful of very value for money and also tastes good too and one thing also very interesting here is they also put in bitter gourd somehow the interplay of bitterness together with the savory fish soup goes well together i don't know why and finally this brings us to the end of our ultimate chinatown food guide here at chinatown complex food center where you can find so much delicious hawker food street food that you'll be spot for choice and you can wander around here and get lost in the maze of stalls here which honestly getting lost in a food center is one of the better places to get lost in because if you're hungry there's a lot of food around anyway thank you very much for joining me for this third part part three of our ultimate food guide here at this food center i hope you enjoyed it and before we go please do me a favor please help me by liking my video by hitting the thumbs up button sharing my video and also subscribing to my channel and don't forget to actually click on the bell icon so that you get the latest notification of all my videos and lastly but the most important thing the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next food adventure i will see you there bye bye